Hey everyone, it's Lucy from KeepBeautyHobby.com. Time for another Style Vana unboxing. I've been basically doing these monthly now, and I'm so grateful to Style Vana for continuously providing me with a stream of stuff to try and review. As you are shopping on Stylevana, feel free to use my affiliate code INF10KBH. So that's INF like an influencer, 10 and then KBH for KB Hobbit. You can use that code once per customer, once per account, and the discount depends on how much you order. I'll put all the details and the breakdown and everything. I got all the links in the description box for you to check out. Let's dig in, let's see what's in here. Sika Care Spot Patch by VT. Perfect. So this is a pimple patch. I haven't tried this specific kind, but in my experience, all of these are more or less the same. Some are slightly better, some are slightly worse than others, but I've really enjoyed having pimple patches because A, they help the pimples heal faster, but B, and perhaps more importantly, they help me keep my little busy hands away from the zits. I'm a recovering popaholic, so if I can't touch something and can't pick at it, that's great. This is a somewhat new to me brand. So I've had the Rai Rai, I hope I'm pronouncing right. I'm probably not, and feel free to correct me in the comments. I've had some of their makeup uh, before that I've gotten SPR. I have not tried these. Blackhead Zero Zero. That's exciting. Look at the little... Okay, let's open this. Oh my goodness, look at that. Is that not the coolest little... Oh my goodness, the little balls. Ooh. Oh, look, it's dispensing. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, I'm going to have to play with all of this and read about it. I try not to do a ton of research beforehand, uh, even if I have sort of an idea of what Stylevana might be sending, because I like surprises and I like actual authentic unboxings versus kind of staged ones where the person already knows everything else inside. But I will put links for all the stuff in the description, like I said. And this one is All Kill Blackhead Removal Gel. Another super cool applicator. Check it out. Oh my goodness. These are like little silicone. Can you tell I'm easily impressed? I mean, I can't help myself. Look at that. That is so cool in my super dry hands. Sorry about that. Okay. As I try all of these for a good amount of time, I will be putting reviews on my Instagram at kbeautyhobbit and on my blog kbeautyhobbit.com. I am very excited for this. So I have, this is a Japanese brand. Um, I'm going to totally butcher it, but it's Roto Mentholatum. I have three of their lip SPFs. I do not have this one. I have, uh, let's see, a peach one. I have a green tea one. And then I have one more. I've reviewed them on my blog before as well, but they're such nice formulas because they don't leave a white cast. They feel just like a really good chapstick. They are a pleasure to use, and the biggest thing for me, though, is no white cast. So I keep reaching for them, and I am getting close to being out. So this is really exciting. I wonder if this one has any sort of smell. I'm excited for this because I had something sort of similar, and it was a PHA pore cleansing balm. It's basically just a, just a cleansing balm with a little bit of added exfoliating acid to help dissolve some of the stuff but let's look at this the pha one was fine i didn't notice it do anything extraordinarily different from any other cleansing balm so i'm curious about the bha one let's look at it has a little bit of a scent i like it Kind of smells a little bit like something astringent, like a tea tree maybe, with something else mixed in. I like the smell though. 
sometimes as you use something though it starts to smell differently so we'll see how that goes what's this now co-elf i think they're owned by petted fee i think it's the same brand Madacasticide clarifying body spray Ooh, purifying and sebum care after now that's exciting so i've been trying to not neglect my body as much this year because i feel like my face skin is pretty much taken care of i don't know why i can't open this not like a normal person there we go okay but my body is usually neglected so i've been just using my face products on my body as well including mists and stuff but it's really exciting to have one specifically for the body and i don't really have a ton of blemish issues or anything but my legs are definitely a problem area i keep having ingrown hairs and then i'm an idiot so i picked at them so then now i have post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation there yeah not exciting so this is cool i'm guessing i'll be mostly using this on my legs but we'll see isn't tree clear skin 8% AHA essence. I've actually been meaning to try this. I keep hearing about it. And AHA is a, a nice, usually gentle exfoliating acid. It does make you more sensitive to the sun, so it's always a good idea to wear sunscreen. But I, I keep seeing this online, never have anything meaningful to contribute to the discussion because I haven't tried it myself, but now that's no longer going to be the case. So thank you, Stalvana for all these goodies. I've had the body lotion from this line, the AC Fighting Body Lotion that I really liked and it had calamine in it. It was pink in color and that really, really worked well on my legs. I'm not sure how it would do with actual body acne because I don't have that, but this is really exciting. I'm guessing this is mostly for the face, but I'll have to study it. So stay tuned on all my channels. I also do reviews a lot in my empties videos. So if you want product review type content, definitely check out my empties videos because that's when I talk about the product and what it did for me, etc., etc. If you prefer that versus reading on the blog. I do try to review every single thing I have or I get. Um, it gets a little bit harder as the number of PR shipments increases. What is this now? A unique Centella Calming Gel Cream. Awesome. I have so far a hit and miss history with our unique. So I had their snail cream, which is great. And then I had their peeling gel, which I don't know why, but it would clump up on my like jawline and only there. It worked fine everywhere else. I even tried it on the body because I couldn't use it on my face because it would just clump up only on the jaw area. And then I couldn't wash it off with anything. It would just stick there and I'd have to basically scratch it off. It was horrible. And I never figured out why it did that. I've tried it on my face just as usual. I've tried it on my face after shaving my face, thinking maybe it's like the little peach fuzz. But I have peach fuzz in other areas on the face and it never happened. So I don't know what happened there. So I'm glad to have another I Unique product to see if this is going to be a hit or a miss because so far it's kind of like one for one with the unique things that I've tried. So here's my Salvana shipment for September. Let me know if you tried any of these. Let me know which ones you're most interested in seeing reviews for because if I can, I will try to order my reviews based on viewer slash reader preferences, uh, you know, as much as I'm able to. And of course, if you have other favorites from Starbana, share those in the comments below as well. And don't forget that INF10KBH code, it works as of right now until the end of October 2021. One per customer, like I said, so load up, make sure you get the biggest benefit from that code that you can. You can find me on Instagram, like I mentioned, at kbeautyhobbit, my blog, kbeautyhobbit.com, in my Facebook group, Korean Beauty Fanatics, we have almost 60,000 members. And by the time this video goes live, it may actually be at 60,000. We'd love to have you there. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, please remember to always listen to your skin. Thank you so much. Bye.